Hi, Ian here. Let's get started with this book creator tutorial. So first we need to launch the app. You will be greeted by the book creator welcome screen. From here, we can open an existing project or start a new one. So let's start a new book by tapping on the new book button in the top left hand corner of the screen. You will now be asked to choose a book shape and style. Standard book or comic book. Before starting your project, it's important to consider where your book is going to end up. Is it going to be printed or turned into an ebook or maybe a movie? For this example, we're going to assume that this book is going to be printed. So I'm going to choose the standard book layout in 4x3. From here, you will see a blank page. This is where we can start our book. We're going to add elements to the book by hitting the add symbol in the top right hand corner. Let's start by adding some text. With add text selected, the keyboard will automatically pop up. Enter your text and press done. We can reposition our new text by tapping on it and dragging it around the screen. Next, let's add a picture. Again, we do this by hitting the plus in the top right hand corner of the screen and choosing photos. From here, you'll have access to all the photos that are currently on the iPad. Choose the one you want to add. And just the same as with our text, we can reposition this image by tapping and dragging on it. And we can also scale and resize the image by dragging on the blue circular handles located on the four corners of the image. If you don't already have an image on your iPad that you'd like to use, you can also use the camera. Click on the plus button again and choose camera. Simply use the camera on your iPad device to take the photo that you'd like to add. An image taken with the camera moves and scales in exactly the same way as an image taken from the library. Next, let's look at adding some drawings. We do this by selecting the plus button and choosing pen. From here, you can choose a colour from your colour palette and even different stroke styles. Just use your finger to simply draw on the screen. And when you're finished, hit done. You can now scale and reposition your drawing in exactly the same way we did with our pictures. There are other elements that you can add to your book, including video and sound. But remember, this project is going to be printed and you cannot print videos and sound. Next. Let's look at adding a new page. To navigate through the pages, we use the arrows found on the right and left hand side of the screen. You'll see Book Creator tells you at the top of the screen what page you're on and how many pages there are in total. When you reach the end of your book, you can see a plus button on the right hand side of the screen. This will add an additional page on the end of your book. You can get an overview of all the pages in your book by tapping on Pages in the top left hand corner of the screen. From here, you can simply tap on the page you want to work on next. Let's assume I've finished working on this book and I want to export it. To do that, we tap on My Books in the top left hand corner of the screen. At this point, it's always a good idea to give your book a title and enter an author name. To do this, we hit the Information button found at the bottom of the screen. A window will pop up asking you to enter the title and author. When you've finished, just press done. Now that we've renamed our book, we can share it. To do this, we hit the share button located at the bottom of the screen. You will now see three options. The option we choose depends very much on where this book is going to go. We could choose EPUB if we wanted to read this book in iBooks on our iPad. Or we could choose video if we wanted to export our book as a short video. But we're going to choose PDF because remember our book is going to be printed and PDFs are the perfect file format for printing documents. Depending on how you want your book to be displayed, you can choose single pages or side by side. At this point, we could choose to print our project directly from the iPad. In order to do this, you will need an AirPrint enabled printer on the same Wi-Fi network as your iPad. Instead of printing, we're going to save a file onto the iPad so that we can transfer it onto our PC or Mac. We do this by using the Send to iTunes button found on the bottom row. You will now see that the export is complete and we're ready to transfer the file across. So let's plug our iPad in. Using a standard cable, plug one end into the iPad and the other into your laptop or PC. 
Now on our PC or Mac we can open iTunes and browse to the iPad that we've just plugged in. From the settings menu on the left hand side choose apps. Now if we scroll down you'll be able to see the file sharing section. On the list of apps on the left hand side choose book creator. On the right hand side you will now see all the files that have been shared from book creator to iTunes. Here is our file entitled example book and we can see that it's been shared today. So to save this we scroll down and click on save to. You will then see a window asking you to select the save location, choose where you would like to save it and hit save. Now we can close iTunes, browse to the file, open it up and review. You now have a file to use as you see fit. You can read it back with other participants, print directly from your machine or save for reviewing at a later date.